MS2 has a lot of fun cars to drive, all from old uh, Opala stock cars to brand new Formula One cars. So today I'm going to list to you my top three favorite cars in AMS2. And the first one, you sh if you have watched my channel for a little while, you would have seen. But let's enter, go into it. Okay, so the first one is the Formula Ultimate Gen 1. And this is mainly because I love high-tech stuff and high downforce race cars so what i like to drive are the quickest cars with the most downforce and this one is the quickest of them and why i've chosen donnington park is because it's uh, very fun driving around here in this car since everything since this circuit is not designed for this car so everything is quite easy and let me just take you to the car it has roughly 1000 horsepower not sure how much weighs I think a bit less than 800 and then it has a ton of downforce and insane acceleration and then that can obviously happen so what you need to remember also is that when pushing over the limit it's easy to spin obviously now since I have destroyed my tires but I can drive a bit slower. But what I've noticed with this car is, or also like, is how pointy it is compared to the others. And why I c love this over the Gen 2 is because this one's quite a bit lighter. That's why I like this car a bit more than that one and why it's, I think it is my favorite car, but all three on here which are on the list are quite, quite good cars. They're quite good and I like them a lot. So speaking of it, let me take you to my second favorite car which I don't know how much no you know about it but it sounds very good and the first time I heard the engine the electric startup which is another clue I thought it was a Rammstein intro okay so my second favorite car is the Cadillac V series dot R Obviously, the engine is a big plus to this, but I'm going to try to explain why I like it in terms of this uh, non-beta, because the beta makes this car feel quite a bit better, in my opinion. But I just like how it handles, because I like, the, as I said, I take high downforce prototypes this one's my favorite out of all of them which are currently in the game because the other ones which i like are lmp1 cars but they are obviously not in the game yet or we don't know that i can tell you for a fact that i have no idea if they're getting added or not but also hmm this car feels very planted, as I say that I nearly lose it, but on the exit you can just stamp on the throttle and you're out of it. So it just handles quite nicely. And also, I like these 
prototype cars maybe a bit more than than F1 cars because they handle a bit easier well in this ba in the base game at least because the beta will change quite a bit which I will make a video on when it arrives but if we get back to this car the engine obviously I've talked about the handling as I've said feels quite nice and this one's quite easy to lock your brakes on so you can have issues with it when starting but once you learn the ins and out of this car it, will, it gets really fun and with the new beta update I'm obviously I'm going to talk about it um, it actually handles even better because cars feel more like cars that maybe doesn't make a lot of sense but it will if you drive the Formula Ultimate Gen 2 and obviously when V1.6 arrives V1.6 will actually make me more interested in the game because I've always live liked the game but there's always been something off with it when going on throttle and I've talked about it quite a bit the GT in the GT3 because it's quite clear all of that what I'm talking about but in this car it feels very good and in the future all cars will handle very well but I think maybe since we have done one lap around there and it's roughly taken the same amount of time I explained for the last car let me talk to you about my late the latest entry to my list which has come with my newfound f interest in V12 engines which is very interesting Okay, so I might have lied a little bit about my favorite car because I forgot about this one, which is the Formula Ultimate Gen 2 Model 2. Why I love this one is once again because of the high take nature of the vehicle. So if you don't know, this is a part of the Formula High Tech. I think it's a DLC called Formula High Tech. But what it does have is active suspension, which means the suspension, instead of being a stiff thing which compresses and move, can move the body around, this one acts at like a middle ground so the platform of the car stays the same level. So when you move the car over these bumps, the, co the actual vehicle stays as flat as possible to not disrupt the handling of the car by disturbing the aero. That's the unique thing, one part of this car. It also has, has traction control, anti-lock brakes, which makes this car easier to drive, but also more fun, especially with the V1.5 physics, which can make the rear a bit slippery so pushing this car can have a few issues but shouldn't be too big of a hassle you should still be able to push this car 
a lot. And from from my point of view, this car is quite easy to push because I can just drive a few laps, which I've done before, and get top ten in the in the leaderboards since because maybe because it has a lo lower play count but also because it's also quite easy for me because I'm a bit of a I don't know how to call my driving style but I like to push things quite to their limit so that's why I like downforce because it helped me like with my quick movement and when I brake hard at the start because I try to brake as late as possible and get on the throttle as early as possible. If you want to compare me to a real driver I would say it's a bit like Leclerc and Hamilton but obviously not on their level of pace. So that was all of the cars. Let me just quickly dis summarize everything for you. So, the cars I liked in order shown was the Formula Ultimate Gen 1 because of its lightweight, high downforce, very pointy feeling. Then you have the Cadillac, the, no, Cadillac V-Series.R, if I recall correctly, that's his name, because of its nimbleness, in my opinion doesn't you have don't have that weird feeling when going on throttle and it's quite high tech then you have the formula high tech gen 2 obviously high tech within its name active suspension all of that easy for me to push and go quite quickly without having to do any major setup changes so what do you think comment it down below and once you're done the please hit the like button and also subscribe my next video i have planned so you have seen my three favorite cars this week, you will be seeing my three favorite tracks in MS2 next week. But until then, I've been Racing Legend. You've been my amazing viewers. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.